Um, uh, day 90 here. We're just kind of recapping all the stuff we've learned in this unit. So I want to start with um, area of a bounded region. This is the most basic, simple premise on here. Sometimes, though, when we learn all that crazy rotated stuff or cross-section stuff, sometimes people um, add extra stuff to this area of a region that shouldn't be there. Um, so it's good to make sure we get the easy ones down so we can do the harder ones as well. So area to region, in general, our formula, okay? So let's say we have a function like this. Here's y equals something. Okay, so if I want to find the area of this region R, right, I can do the integral from A to B. You know, we'd have to find those intersections and everything, but just for now, let's let's keep it A and B. We do the integral from left to right, x values of top function minus bottom function. So it's always the integral from left to right of top minus bottom. Again, if you have to solve it by hand and the bottom function is a binomial, make sure you put it in parentheses to make sure you get it right. Okay. But I just wanted to show you that um, you can also find the area of a region by doing the integral from bottom to top. Okay. So this is the point. Um, 0, 1, this is the point, 1, 2. So changing that A and B, right, this would be, sorry, it's going to be easier to explain with the numbers here. 0 to 1 of that. Okay. But I can also find the area of that region doing integral from bottom to top of right function minus left function. What I want you to understand about this is, um, we make that shift for cross sections perpendicular to the y-axis. We also make that shift for revolving around the y-axis. I just want to show you that you can make that shift too for area of a region. I could also do this in this find this area. Area equals area equals. I could also integrate from the bottom one to the top two the y values. And now I can do right function minus left function. But once again, I have to solve this for x equals. So I get x squared equals y minus 1, and x would equal root y minus 1. That would be my right function. Minus the left function. Right? This is the right function. This is the left function. I could get this, and I'd have y minus 1 equals root x. And then I could square both, and I get x equals y minus 1 squared. And I could do that dy to find the area as well. Okay. So we can make that switch adjustment for areas of regions too. Okay. Notice there's no pi. We're not squaring things here. We're just doing top minus bottom, or we also can do right minus left if we want as well, if the function is set up that way. Okay, so that's area of a region. Very simple. Just as a reminder, our general formula is we integrate from left to right of top minus bottom. Okay. Um, Disk method. We use the disk method for a rotated region around an axis that's also the boundary of the axis. If we have that, our integral is from left to right. And 
and we make a bunch of disks. The area of a disk is pi r squared dx. Okay. So again, this would be for something like this. This region revolved around the x-axis. Since the x-axis is a boundary that I'm revolving around, right? We create a solid disk. There's no, there's not a big R and a little R, there's just a single R, and that R would be the function, whatever it is. It looks like maybe x squared there. Okay. Washer method. Washer method is always the integral from left to right. Sorry, go back and add disk method um, x axis. Also horizontal, a, hor a horizontal rotation. Let's call this washer method x axis slash a horizontal line. So a line like y equals 3. It's always integral left to right pi. Big R squared minus little r squared. Okay. The whole key to setting that up is figuring out what is going to be your big R, what is going to be your little r. Take a look back at day, I think, 86 for this. Go, go ahead and kind of rewatch some of those videos if you need to to kind of get the feeling for it. But that's going to be always the setup. Okay. If we have a washer method, For, so disk washer around a vertical axis, vertical axis or y axis. Okay, this is specifically for the washer. We'll do integral from bottom y value to top y value. Pi uh, big R squared minus little r squared dy. Because we're doing dy, these r and r values need to be in x equals something in terms of y. So we have to make that switch. You guys have been getting good at that in class. For a disk method, it'd be the integral from bottom to top of just pi r squared dy. So once again, you need to solve for x equals y. Okay. Last one, cross sections. Cross sections perpendicular to x. We integrate from left to right. Of the area of cross section, area of shape times dx. Okay, and remember we. To find the area of the shape, we just need to know the formulas for area of a square, rectangle, semicircle, isosceles, right triangle, things like that. Um, and to get that, to get those dimensions of the shapes, just remember the distance. Right? This distance, this is f of x and this is g of x. This distance always equals f minus g. Okay? So that's for a cross section perpendicular to the x axis. So the area of the shape times the thickness dx gives us the volume, and we sum up the volumes from the left side all the way to the right side. Last one cross sections perpendicular to y. Right? Be aware of this. Also, be aware of revolving around the y axis. Just be aware that it's there, okay? We integrate from bottom to top. Once again, it's still the area of shape D time uh, dy. So again, once we, because we have that dy, you need to solve your functions, right? You need to solve your functions for x equals something in terms of y, right? So these two 
these two things here, or the, that area, should be composed of functions in terms of y. Right? So we got to solve for x. And again, you're just finding the area of a shape, and you're integrating it from bottom to top. All right, that's it for today. Um, we'll, we'll review on uh, Monday and Wednesday and look to take this thing on Thursday. Talk to you guys later. Two chains. Bye.